guys, I have this pile of manga that I've gotten, I want to say, in the past week or so. And it's like driving me nuts just seeing on the floor. So I'm going to just put it on a shelf. But before I do that, I'll show you what I got first. So I didn't know that um, there was more for this series. I thought I had them all, but I guess I didn't. So this is The Girl from the Other Side. I love this manga. I have 1 through 10 and it's such a good read. So I thought it was like a dark story with monsters and stuff like that and it's really not. It's actually very sweet and um, pretty much there is an insider and outsider and he is an outsider I believe. Oh my gosh, it's been forever since I've read it but there's a little girl and she calls him teacher and they've had this, they've created this relationship and he's just like trying to figure out like where she, who she is and stuff like that and he's trying to help her um find her aunt i think it was so anyways it's a really sweet story and yeah so now i have the final volume which is 11 and then i also went ahead and got 12 which has short stories so i'm really excited to read these two volumes right here next i have the apothecary Dar diaries i've only read one and two of this so i'm pretty behind I have one through five on my shelf already and I went ahead and got six and seven. I actually think I just got five, but I went ahead and put it over there anyways. So anyways, I have one through seven now and I really need to catch up on this. This is really good from what I remember. It's been like a year and a half since I've read the series or started to read it. But pretty much she is... Uh, a herbologist is that the word she's really good with mixing herbs making medicines and stuff like that um and she ends up working at the palace and since she, since she really knows her herbs and such she became kind of like a food taster for the um was it for not the king, was it? For one of the royalties. I totally forgot. See, I need to read them again. Um, but yeah, it's really good. She's like a food taster. And there's kind of... I don't want to say romance. But I find some of the characters to be pretty funny. And witty in a way. I don't know. It's really good. I love this. I really need to, I guess, reread it. Or continue on to like refresh my brain but it's a really good one and I love the artwork in this it's so so good um, so yeah I have one through seven now okay this one is new this is full moon I don't have this at all obviously I have one and two here and I bought these used over on abebooks.com so I got these on abebooks and everything else that I showed you, the first four, I got on Amazon, so I'll link it below. But Full Moon, I got a second hand. And it's not too terrible looking, like, especially the binding. That's kind of what I always look for is the binding. And I don't like a whole lot of, like, stickers or anything. And I don't really see anything. It looks like there's there was some, but... I mean, it's not there anywhere. So I feel like a little bit sticky there. But um, anyways, this is Full Moon. This is old. I have always seen this in the past, like, middle school, high school. But I've never actually, like, read it. All I know is she's sick or something. And she, like, sings, right? She's, like, a superstar. I want him to fall in love or something like that. I don't know. But I wanted to start reading it because it was one of those old mangas that I've always wanted to read but never did so yeah and plus I love the artwork on this like I've always loved the artwork for this manga so anyways I just got one and two we'll see how it goes if I like it maybe I'll continue um and you know collect the rest okay next are two collector collector's edition books so you guys know I love Chobits and I actually do have one through eight. Um that's that's all they have for the manga. It's it's sad. I, f I wish they would continue it, but that's that's all there is. Um so I have one through eight volumes. 
and um i decided i want the collector's edition with the, with like the 20th anniversary so i have here number four i do have one two and three coming it's on their way right now i think um this one i bought on amazon because i couldn't find it on a books everything else like one two and three i purchased on a books because it was cheaper than on amazon still it was new though so crossing my fingers that it arrives and they are new so anyways this is what it looks like look at this big volume so i'm guessing there's eight volumes and there's four four of this big guys so i'm guessing two volumes in one or something like that um but yeah super cute yeah so this has seven and eight and what i love about this is that there are colored pages like how stunning so yeah if you've never read chobits definitely check it out there's an anime if you don't want to read it but she is just so beautiful so she's a robot and he finds her on the street and was like oh my god now i can have my own persicon persicon robot um and it's just like she's so different from all the other robots she kind of has feelings and stuff like that and yeah she's she's special and i love i love her I love her okay next i have this this is the card captors um collector's edition this is i believe just the what's it called card captor sakura i do have card captor sakura clear card i'm currently collecting that one i think i'm up to volume 12 on that one volume 13 comes out in april um i have not read clear card yet i have watched card captor sakura i believe this is like the first the one before clear card is what i'm guessing so anyways i do have more of this coming from eight books i was able to get them um i think i have one one three and four coming this is two but like look how pretty it is it's still sealed i haven't opened it yet i think i'm gonna wait till i have the other ones and then kind of like open it together um so yeah it says there's a cloud card collectible inside so i'm really excited to see what that is but yeah i'm gonna wait to actually open this one with the other ones this one i don't think it came with anything yeah i think it's just the books and then you get colored pages which is fine with me but like they are really nice like hefty books so i love that so much i think there's a lot of this so we'll see if i actually collect all of them but yeah I, i'm gonna have four really soon so yeah we'll see we'll see <sighs> anyways okay now i get to put these away because i hate having them on the floor it just it was driving me nuts okay i finally got my package for all of the new books or manga that i ordered i think two weeks ago um i ordered it off of abooks.com so it's like a library i think it was downstate and they just had everything i was looking for that was like new but so much cheaper than if i was to get it at Barnes and Noble or Amazon so yeah I went ahead and ordered from there and these are the collector editions of I think all, everything that's in here is collector editions so I first got the card captor ones so this is number four look at that I will unbox these with you guys like these ones because they're sealed and there's cards in them. So I got one, four, and three. They didn't have two, so I actually bought two off of Amazon. And it's currently on the shelf already because I've those came in like a few days after I ordered it. Um, and I guess, like I said, I couldn't leave them on the ground anymore. It was just driving me nuts. So I went ahead and just... Put them on the shelf. I will be reorganizing. So, anyways, okay. And then I got the Chobits Collector Editions as well. This is number two. I ordered... Which one is this? I ordered four off of Amazon. So I have two here. 
three, and one. And these are new, so I'm just excited. So I have all of the Chobits Collector Editions. Um, there's only eight mangas for that, like eight volumes of manga. So there's only four of the Collector Editions, so that's easy to collect. Um, okay, and then the last things that are in here are fruit baskets. Yes. So I actually have never read Fruits Basket, but I did watch the new version of the anime, and that was so, so good. I, f I think I cried almost like every episode or something. At least I teared up cried maybe every other episode but it's a good one so i wanted the um the manga but i went ahead and just did the collector's version um i only ordered one two three and four so one through four of these there's a lot um i'm not sure if i'll collect them all i think i'll do it like slowly um but yeah for now i only have four and i do want to read these so yeah because like I said, I've never read the mangas. I've only just watched the um, anime. So that's it. That's everything I purchased. Like I said, it's just mostly um, collector's editions. But it's something that I really wanted to wait for because they are bigger books. And I kind of want to, you know, I want to put them on the shelf and everything. And yeah, so anyways... Now that they're here, I'm going to go ahead and take everything off and then we're going to, I guess, reorganize. Alright, let's open these ones first before I forget to. Um, so it says exclusive cloud card collectible inside. I'm very excited. I actually do not have any cloud cards. I was tempted on buying like, you know, the fake ones on AliExpress, but... I didn't because I like getting the like you know the real things so I was like oh these come with it so there we go now I will officially have a cloud card so this is volume one I'm not sure how many volumes there are of these but yeah oh, kind of dented the corners there but oh my gosh it's so pretty okay where's the <gasps> There it is. It's Sakura. So cute. Oh my gosh. I wish there's more, but for sure that's that. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. It's so nice. Wait. Look at her outfit. How cute. I highly recommend card captors if you guys like, you know, cutesy anime magic like if you like sailor moon you're gonna love this um i think my all-time favorite is card captor sakura and then chobits and then sailor moon but yeah my number one is card captor sakura kero chan oh they're so cute so oh i love that okay so that's volume one now let's do volume two Tomoyo, she's so pretty. I love Tomoyo's hair. So I've actually only ever watched um, Cardcaptor Sakura, like the original. I've never actually read the manga, so I do want to read these eventually. I have the clear card mangas as well, which is ongoing. I believe that's like after this one. They're a little bit older, I think. I don't know. I, I haven't read it yet, but I do have volumes 1 through 12 of that currently. So anyways, look at this. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Wait! Oh my god, do they like... Can you like put them together or something? No. Look how cute though. Oh my gosh. I feel like once you have them all, they're gonna make a big picture. <laughs> my gosh, that's so pretty. Oh my god. I love her outfits. Look at that. I actually watch um 
car captor Sakura sometimes with my son Liam. And he loves it too. He really likes like Kero-chan because they're so cute and he always eats and he's pretty funny. So, number two. And then we have number three. Oh, with her brother. And her brother's best friend. This is so cute. Like, how could I not want this, right? Like, look at this. See, I really think, see, I told ya what I tell ya. What did I tell ya? It makes a picture. Look at that. Oh my gosh. <gasps> what I tell ya? Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Okay. I love it. I think eventually I'll like frame that. Wouldn't that be cool? Oh my God, so cute. I love them. Wow, so pretty with her classmates. So cute. Okay, and last but not the least, this is volume four with her parents, I believe. So pretty. I remember there's an episode where she went to see her grandpa. I thought that was really cute. That was like such a cute episode. I think it was like her mom's dad or something. Was it mom's dad or mom's grandpa? I don't remember, but it was a really sweet episode. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. <gasps> Where's Lee? Okay, let's see. How does it go again? Like this. This is somewhere. I'm thinking it goes right there or something. Yeah. Because I see the gray. Yeah. Oh my god, so cool. I am excited to collect these and, you know. <gasps> wow, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And of course, it's like is that hydrangeas or hyacinths? I don't know, but I love it. <gasps> the bunny outfit. Cute, cute. Wow. The artwork is so good, I swear. <gasps> See, how could you not love Card Captor Sakura? Like, this is so cute. Oh my god, I love it. So, there you have it. One through four of. The collector's edition and then in case you want to see this this one has colored artwork as well like towards the end of each volume like look at this oh my gosh she's so pretty I can't <gasps> the outfits oh my god So pretty. Oh my gosh. This was actually like on the first volume, I think. Or was it this one? <gasps> I'm obsessed. Obsessed. Oh my god. She's so gorgeous. There we go. That's the one on the first volume. So good, I swear. I love Chobits. <gasps> There's more. Ah! <laughs> That's his landlord. Anyways, you guys have to see this. It's really cute. Okay. Anyways, let's get started with my bookcase. I feel like this video is going to be long. I'll, ch I'll try to make it short.
is my bookshelf. I love it. 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 Okay, so um, we didn't organize this area because I just left it the way it is. So it's more like decor and some books on this side. And I think I showed you guys this, but I have more books down there. And then the bottom shelf is literally like two bins with planner stuff that you can't really see. So it's like storage, but yeah, keeping it like that for now. But on this side is my manga and I love it. So for a shelf, of course, I have my card captor Sakura. I did put away two of my Ben Presto figures because it was just like too much if I put them all up, but there you have it. I think eventually I will put away the stuffies, but for now, they look cute there, I think. So yeah, and I wanted to display one of the illustrations back there just because it's so pretty. But yeah, eventually I think I will put the stuffies away and just keep like the little figures and books. And then second shelf. Okay, so the way I organize my manga is mm, by aesthetic pretty much. I try to do them alphabetically, but overall it's for aesthetics and I cannot stand it when books are not like the same size, you know? So as you can see, it's shorter and then it just keeps getting bigger and bigger type of deal. And ideally, I would put the fruits baskets at the end because they are taller than these books back here. But I want to see them, if that makes sense. So I put them there. So anyways, they're kind of alphabetized, but also by height, <laughs> if that makes sense. Oops. I don't really do it by genre either. I just kind of do it what is like you know aesthetically pleasing to the eyes that's just how i how i roll i guess so here's a look at what i have i have number three in my bedroom right now because i'm reading it but there is room here for that um but yeah there you go okay and then this is the third shelf with my chobits and then over here, I have Kabato and Sailor Moon, The Wandering Witch. Um, I have The White Cat's Revenge. So kind of like kept it pretty magical over here. Eventually, I do plan on just having Kobato and Sailor Moon over here. But for now, I have that. I have some figures. So yeah, kept that pretty simple too. I did wanted to display one of the collector's books of the Chobits, but for now, this is how it's looking. And then down here, I have my Promise Neverland 1 through 20. And then I have Emma and Ray. I just got Ray. I love this one. And then over here, I have Miroku-chan, which I love, by the way, highly recommend. And then, of course, I have Toilet Bound Hanako-kun. I only have 8 through 16 of that one. And I have these cute little figures of the characters. So yeah, that was super cute. And last but not the least are, like, my darker, I guess, mangas. So I have The Girl from the Other Side, 1 through 12. Tale of the Outcast, Call of the Night, Can't Stop Cursing You, Chainsaw Man, Dear No Man, The Elder Sister Like One, Ghost Reaper, Sleepy Princess, The Witch's House, and then these guys. A lot of these I have not read yet, so yeah. <laughs> but I love The Girl from the Other Side. Highly recommend that manga series. And you know what? They actually came out with like a collector's edition and it looks amazing so I don't know I kind of want to get those and then maybe sell this we'll see but for now yeah I have all of the volumes of the manga so there you have it that is what my bookcase is looking like and also my manga collection 
I love this so much. Like I'm so much happier with this. I love being able to see them and also not having to worry about my bookcase or the shelves falling. Because <laughs> that has happened when I had them on the floating shelves. But yeah, so happy with this. I have some room to grow eventually. Maybe I'll get more hool, who knows. Um, but yeah, for now, I did wanted to just keep it on this, you know, one book case. So yeah, maybe eventually we'll go onto this side, but for now, we're good over here. And I love it. Love it, love it. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed. And I will try to list and link everything in the description box like usual. And until next time, bye!